Hello and welcome to another Common Sense Conversation. I am Polly Conway, Common Sense's Senior TV Editor, and I'm so happy to be here with RJ Cutler, who is the Executive Producer of Apple uh, Plus's Deer, which we just honored as a Common Sense selection. Uh, hi, RJ, how are you? I'm great, thank you for the honor. Of course, of course. Um, first off, can you just uh, share a little bit about yourself and the show? Uh, what can I tell you about myself? <laughs> I mean, I can tell you about yourself. <laughs> I, I'm a boy from Great Neck. Excellent. Yes, and uh, I make documentary films and television shows and, and uh, other things like that. And, uh, and Deer is a, is a TV series on, uh, on the uh, Apple Plus uh, streaming service that, uh, that uh, features a lot of extraordinary people, household names, folks whose last names aren't necessary, like Oprah and Spike and Lynn and Stevie and 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 uh, and and others and Big Bird. What is Big Bird's last name? We don't even know. And I mean um, and and tells the story of uh, uh, tells uh, tells their stories through the eyes of those people who whose lives have been changed by their work. And um, and we're very proud of it. Fantastic! It's so so much fun. Um, I wanted to know how you chose the people that you ended up featuring this time around. Well, uh, you know, as I say, this is a show about about the impact that 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 uh, uh, work and deed have on other people, and how one person can change the world. And when you're working on a project like that, it's 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 a fun exercise to. Um, to list uh, your your kind of fantasy list of of people you would have. Well, we sure would love a filmmaker. I wonder if Spike Lee might do this. And wouldn't it be great to have a, a an awesome a music artist? Uh, I hope Stevie Wonder would be interested. And uh, uh, an iconic uh, tastemaker and influencer would be terrific. What's uh, is Oprah available? Um, uh, it, it would be great to have a a young person who's leading her generation in uh, in, in social activism. Well, is Yara Shahidi interested? Um, you you how about a, a a great Olympian who's also a courageous hero? Uh, is is Ali Reisman uh, uh, available during our 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 time period? And and you go from there. And uh, and and quite honestly, our wish list, our dream group of ten people. Uh, um, almost to a person said yes, and we were we were thrilled to have them. Excellent. Both the recipients of the letters and uh, the people who are writing the letters are from a variety of backgrounds, which is really exciting to see. And I wanted to ask you why you think it's important for kids and families to see diverse people in media. Well, it's important to see diversity in media because we live in a diverse world and uh, you, you uh, um, ideally, when we're telling stories, we're telling stories that are truthful, and, um, and there you go. It's a, I, 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 I think um, it's almost self-explanatory. We want the world, we want to see a world that reflects the world, uh, especially if, if, if it's truth that we're that we're uh, exploring. Uh, this series explores a, very, a rather profound truth, which is that. One person can change the world. And I said one person. I didn't say one very specific kind of person. So uh, that means uh, when it comes to age and gender and race and socioeconomic background and uh, geographic background, uh, anyone can change the world, any one person. And, and in this series, you see uh, well-known people who change the world, and you see less well-known people who change the world. You know, to me, for all the deeply moving, beautiful stories of iconic figures and the impact their work has had on the world, the, in a way, the most moving story to me is the story of the the woman who volunteered uh, at the Boys and Girls Club in California and. And uh, uh, on a Saturday afternoon, and a 14-year-old girl named Misty Copeland, who, 
who uh, had never danced before and whose family was living in a motel and didn't know where their next meal was necessarily coming from, uh, showed up in class because it was a free class and she thought she might enjoy it. And that teacher, that volunteer, recognized in a moment that Misty was a prodigy and told her so and offered her a scholarship to her, to her own class, which, uh, which, which uh, e economics might have prohibited her from joining otherwise, would have prohibited her from joining otherwise. And in that one moment, this woman whose name is not a household name changed the world, it changed the world in terms of, of dance, in terms of art, in terms of culture, in terms of um, civil rights. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and that's as beautiful and powerful and meaningful a story as the beautiful, powerful, meaningful stories about Stevie and Spike and Oprah and Lynn and, 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 and Big Bird and stories that each of them, I think, would, uh, would, would be proud to honor. I think this is a really great show for families to watch together, which is something that we're always looking out for at Common Sense Media. And I wanted to know what messages do you think kids and families can take away from watching the show? There's one message to take away from this show, and it's that um, uh, one person can change the world. And, um, and, it, and, and, and uh, what you do matters. What you say matters. What you make matters. What you, uh, uh, the, the hand you reach out uh, to help someone else matters. Uh, we are, we are, in spite of what uh, some would have us believe, in spite of what uh, unfortunate circumstances might be uh, trying to convince us of uh, at the moment, we are all connected and we, uh, we are all um, uh, uh, responsible for each other, like it or not, you know, we, uh, this is the, we are who we have. And, uh, and, and as Lynn Manuel Miranda says, the, the, the things we put out into the world uh, are like pebbles and they hit the water and they ripple and uh, those ripples can change the world. Uh, so, um, so that's the message and it's a message we share with our, our daughter who's just turning five and, and uh, uh, we are, are, are proud to be watching this with her um, and, and excited to be watching this with her and, and, uh, and sharing it with her. Um, and, and so that's the message. I think it's really important to get frequent reminders of that message right now. Uh, it's really hard. I feel like every day I flip flop and you know, seeing something like last night, I watched the Big Bird episode and was just so moved and was just sobbing. Uh, I was like, oh my God, I had to watch Mr. Hooper episode again. <laughs> but it's such a gift um, to Thank be able you. to see how, how much even a fictional character can change the world. The actions of someone who is a bird, who is a puppet bird. Um, <laughs> I wanted to know what, how did you choose Big Bird, what made you pick a, a person who is not real, but is real to lots of kids and has changed their lives? You know, we really were just doing our best to put together a, a, a diverse group of, of uh, iconic figures and uh, folks whose, uh, whose work had changed the world and uh, whose stories we wanted to tell and who we believed would uh, would have a, a, a wealth of letters from uh, from from uh, people uh, thanking them for their work and their deeds, and and uh, Big Bird was high on our list, and uh, and and then he said yes, and you know he doesn't give many interviews, so uh, we were very fortunate. It was great great to see him up there, and also I'm, he was very moved by the way that he had changed people's lives. Um, it's it's funny it's funny you know seriously it's it's um it's it's something you learn when you when you do work in for the for public consumption but also when you meet others who do work for public consumption uh nobody ever tires of hearing thank you 
for your work. Nobody. I've I've yet to I've yet to see it, and uh, and and I've 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 I know I've known a lot of people, <laughs> and you know it's an it's an interest it's a really interesting thing. Uh, um, uh, the the way you see the subjects in our series moved by the letters they received, uh, I promise you they've never been moved like that by a by a check they've received um or, or uh you know or 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 another thousand followers on on instagram uh but um but 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 a simple thank you um this is how your work touched my life um is 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 uh, is profoundly uh moving and 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 you see it you see it before your eyes i think it's also a lesson for people like us to, to not be afraid to say thank you, to not, you know, say, oh, well, that teacher sure. a million times before, they're the teacher of the year. They don't care about one more from me. But like you said, it's it matters. And, you know, it's just putting that goodness out into the world and people are ready to receive and, it. And yeah. And, you know, there's an there's a there's an inverse too. Uh, if you're putting poison out into the world, it's going to it's it also can change the world and not for better. And it's and 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 you know, we see that too. All too much. All too much right now. We're seeing uh, 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 those who spew bile, and what they make of the world is is uh, you know, they are also responsible for. So uh, as I say, your 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 work and your deeds they they really do matter. It's true. All right, I'm going to ask you one final bonus question, and that is, what was your favorite piece of media when you were a kid? It could have been a book, a movie, a TV show, something that you really loved and responded to. Well, when I was a little kid, I I, I was an avid Charlie Brown uh, Peanuts reader, and I I uh, I um, you couldn't uh, Charles Schultz couldn't publish a collection of peanut strips. Uh, uh, fast enough for me not to have devoured it, and uh, and my bookshelves there were maybe there were forty different collections of of peanuts strips, or maybe fifty and maybe sixty, whatever however many there were. And in and in fact, when I was maybe seven, uh, I, uh, I I directed my first play, which was an adaptation of. Of of you know uh, of those those books of comic strips I had read, and I similarly did a version when I was eight, and when I was eight, this was how I I discovered myself as an artist through that work, and uh, and um, uh, you know if he were around today, I'd send him a letter to thank him. That's great. I also had quite a few Charlie Brown books. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with us. I really appreciate your time and thank you for the show. Uh, my pleasure. Thanks for, uh, for your kind words. Of course. Thank you. Bye.